here's the story. I went to a worship conference with a couple of guys. Well, in the middle of downtown was, was a restaurant. And so I looked at the guys I was with. I said, you guys want to, you want to stop and eat? So we, we stopped and ate. And we walked in. There was one lady in charge of the whole place. As we're watching, these people get up. They grab a coffee pot and they walk around. They start, they pour their coffee. Then they walk around. They start pouring it for other people. I thought, well, that's interesting. That's kind of a, and I look over. And on one wall, the whole wall is lined with dowels. And on the dowels are mugs. And so she finally came over and she was going to help us. I said, I got to know the story. What's behind the mugs and the, oh, she said, those, those are people's. They bring them from home. They pour the coffee, there's a little thing at the end, they wash out, they put their mug back up on the wall. Okay, that's ingenious. <laughs> McDonald's could move next door and nothing's gonna change because people are coming, why? It's where their mug's at. We're gonna talk about a place to belong. God has a place for you. In fact, let me say it stronger. God has always had a place for you. I'm in. I'm in because I know I belong. I'm in because I am willing to grow. I'm in and I'm willing to serve in whatever way he calls me. I'm in and I'm going to celebrate as God works. If you're in and you know that you belong, if you're in and you know, God, I'm willing to grow. I know I haven't arrived. I'm willing to grow. I'm in and I'm willing to serve you. And I'm in and I'm going to celebrate as you work. If that's you, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to write your name on that mug. Since that Sunday in 2016, we as a church have been asking the questions, why are we here? And what is God calling us to? As we wrestled through that, it became clear that we were to be a church where people could belong and be accepted, a place where we could come alongside and help people grow in their faith, help them discover the spiritual gifts that God has given them. As people grow, we are trying to help them use their gifts to serve both inside and outside the church. And then, in all of this, as God has done what only God can do, we celebrate and give glory to God. We don't have it all figured out, but as we watch what God is doing, we are seeing this sequence again and again. Belong, grow, thrive, serve, celebrate. This has changed how and why we do small groups and even how ministry teams operate. As we've embraced this rhythm of ministry, we are seeing God move in amazing ways. People are growing in their faith, encouraging each other, and using their gifts in ministry. And as this takes place, the abundant life found only in Jesus flows through us to the world around us, inviting them to the blessing of a place to belong.